Hello and welcome. Welcome to Reimagine Life Phase 4. Today on day 27, let's focus on changing your life by changing your energy. The quickest way to make rapid changes is to change your vibration. When your vibration matches a particular energy or options, that option becomes a reality for you. Regardless of what you notice outside of you, uh, in your life or in your career or in your business or in your family or on the planet, it is important to quickly focus on creating a vibrational resonance with the option or the options that you desire. If you can remember this for the rest of your life, that will be like 30% of your success. Why do I say that? Because when you remember that, you will remember to detach, unplug, run some of the energies and give yourself a boost. If you forget that, then uh, you will struggle more. So use one of those sticky notes and write that message somewhere um, and just you know, keep it close to you, maybe on your desk. Um, you can have a note on your computer, on your phone, on your iPad or tablet, um, beside your bed. Wherever you want, keep some of those sticky notes or keep some of those digital notes. Okay. So regardless of what you notice outside of you, your first task is to focus on creating a vibrational resonance with what you desire. So how do you do that? First thing is notice what's happening. Now don't ignore it, don't run away, don't pretend it's not there because that's avoidance. So notice what's happening and detach and unplug. How do you detach? You know, you use the USB example, I've shown it many times. You are plugged in uh, to an option. So this is the part that gets plugged into some option, whether it's abundance or relationship or health and wellness or a particular disease or issue or symptom or some political um, um, uh, issues that you notice or you know, global disharmony that you notice or environmental disharmony that you notice or whatever that may be. Unplug, use this, unplug, and detach. Then run some of the tools like the rings of harmony to flush out non-beneficial energies and to raise your vibration immediately. Then ask the question, what would I rather experience or attract or manifest, whatever resonates with you? And when you have that answer in your mind and in your heart, then begin to use some of the other tools and programs like restoring our abundance, love is power, liquid luck, uh, unlock inner joy, perfect health and fitness, restore inner magic. And there are a bunch of these uh, different holographic programs. So pick the one that attracts you the most, use it or mix and match, launch one, then another one, then another one. Keep generating the vortex energies. When you are noticing these programs running, notice the vortex energy within you and outside of you. It's a clockwise spiraling vortex energy. You don't have to spend too much time on rotation and all the other details. The programs know what to do, but it's a strong vortex energy and allow it to keep spiraling through you and focus on the best case scenario. You know, we have um, explored those golden spheres and gray spheres, and you're putting non-beneficial items or issues or thoughts, feelings in the gray sphere. Let it go into a recycle bin and focus on the golden sphere, which ha has the um, option that you desire, which holds the vibration that's uh, beneficial for you. So then plug into that golden sphere. You now plug your USB, the one that you detached from the other option that you do not wish um, or want to experience, and plug that into the golden sphere. 
Okay. So when you do that, and then you continue to give yourself a boost using some of the tools and programs, you will keep changing your energy or raising your vibration bit by bit. If it takes you three days, it's fine. If it takes you a week, it's fine. If it takes you three months, it's fine. Depending on where you are and how you notice the energy, it will be different. The duration or the period that it takes you to make that change and notice something will be different. If you're using the tools and then going back to watching TV, watching news, you know, reading things that's not beneficial, doing all kinds of things that you, you know um, simply is not beneficial for you or doing things that do not align with your being, then you will keep putting yourself in that infinite loop. The tools will give you a um, boost and then through other activities, you will come down, then the boost come down. So you oscillate you know, between that range that I mentioned a bunch of times and you hit your upper limit, you come down, you hit your low, lower limit, then you go up. And we see that everywhere. We see that in uh, the country consciousness, in personal consciousness, in the planetary consciousness and more. So it's really important to understand that when you are using some of the tools and processes, you are giving yourself a boost, maintain that. Those of you who have explored some of the star energies with me, use some of the star energies. Notice which one would be beneficial. For example, healing would be uh, healing star Maya. That's the first you know, one that pops up. If you're thinking about love, then think about the planet Venus, the Rosette Nebula, the Rose Galaxies. And if you're thinking about abundance and possibilities and magic and miracles, think about Orion's belt. You know, it's connected to magic and miracles. Um, if you just think about generating new options, think about Vega. There are so many possibilities. I give you all these options by exploring different systems and stars so that you can see what attracts you the most. And also through the experiences and explorations, you will start to maybe open up some of your cosmic timeline. Now that's something that would be very, very beneficial for your path because when you start to notice your cosmic connection and your soul journey, you will start to see things in a very different way and your entire world will change. So let's continue to play with these energies and let's keep giving yourself these boosts so that you can play with the energies more. And if you have uh, some of the sacred geometry plates, you know, like the Taurus vortex, um, use it, hold it on your palm. Now don't just have it wrapped up kept in your locker and the bank's vault is not necessary. You know, I can give you more if you, you know, if you get to a point where you have used it so much and, you know, it's missing parts of it, it's fine. Okay, so use the Taurus Vortex as you are running some of the tools, run your fingers through the Vortex and play with the energies. Okay, you don't have to, um, work too hard on it, just softly keep rotating your fingers clockwise and boost the energies. Uh, if you have the flower of life, you know, I'm quoting a bunch more for some of the new waves, then uh, use the flower of life to rotate your energies. Uh, all the different segments are encoded with multiple uh, flowers. So as you're rotating your finger, you're ro uh, generating a lot of different um, uh, instances of the flower fly vortex. So it's beneficial to play with different energies and sacred geometry that helps you. So give yourself these boosts and notice your sensations. Also, the other thing is, if you don't know much about feng shui and the cycles and the different elements and how they play together, learn more a little bit. You know, look at the feng shui page. Uh, it's closed for the year, but I'll open it up next year you know, for the year of the um, uh, metal ox, which is a year of moving through 
whatever that creates resistance for you. So that's a very powerful one for all of us and the planet. And as we go through the next one year, you know, we are still in that downward phase. We will get to the bottom level in about 10 months or so. So, uh, you know, then we'll start come back, coming and back up. It's just that cycle, cosmic cycle. You know, like the waves, they go up and down. So we are at that point, we'll do this, okay? So um, your task is to keep running the vortex energies so we can shift the energies for even the bottom level and our whole curve can go up. You know, the curve of your life can go up, the countries can go up, the planetary consciousness can go up. So let's focus on these energies and let's keep playing with these energies. And to help you a little bit uh, with the process of our journey, now I'll also share the, um, one of the recent matrix imprints um, on the screen. So if you have the full version, keep using it. It is for rapid inner transformation and growth. So notice the energies and you know, keep playing with the energies. It's encoded with the power star ASEAN it has a lot of geometric waves, uh, a lot of vortex energies, um, and just play with the energies. So you can gently gaze at it and think about making rapid changes for your life and for your reality and for the entire planet. Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently. Whenever you're ready, you can close your eyes. Time to time, if you want to look at the vortex energies again, you can open your eyes and take a look. Let's bring up spiraling earth energies from the center of earth and allow these energies to come up through your lower chakras and your feet for grounding. Let's bring down the spiraling rays of the sun through your higher chakras and your crown. You are inside a vortex between the earth and the sun. Allow the energies to spiral through you up and down and notice your sensations. Focus on your heart and focus on your heart-brain connection. Notice a beam of light connecting your heart and your brain. Begin to operate from your heart-brain unified consciousness.
Let's focus on enhancing your life. Let's focus on boosting your vibration and gradually expanding the energies throughout your whole country, your whole continent, and the entire planet. I will also bring in the energies from the Power Star Asion for rapid changes and in inner growth. Notice the strong vortex energies spiraling through you, through every cell, through your DNA strands, through your energy centers, and also spiraling through the entire planet. Just in your mind and in your heart, keep spinning the energies. Allow your vibration to increase. Allow the global vibration to increase.
Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently a few more times. Let's come back to your present moment. Have your hands together and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. As you go through your days and moving forward, as you go through your life, actually, you do remember those simple steps. When you remember, you can take actions and then you can focus on shifting your energy and shifting the world. When things look like they're just not going your way and everything is collapsing. That's when you need to use some of these tools and processes more because you can flush out any remaining issues and non-beneficial energy and information uh, from your system and from your world and give yourself a huge boost. And then you can boost your vibration a lot more and then keep focusing on what you would love to experience and most of the time you know we think about things that happened and especially what should have happened what could have happened you know we keep running into that infinite loop that's why so often like we do things but it takes us so long to manifest them or it doesn't uh, materialize because on one side we are boosting our energy and on the other side with all those uh, thoughts, feelings, uh, old beliefs, we start to doubt and we start to um, unwind or undo the things that we would, um, uh, you know, we've been playing with so uh, to manifest. So, um, you know, let's, let's give yourself the boost. And whenever you notice uh, you're thinking about old movies or old events, just throw them in the universal recycling bin. If they're not empowering, if they are empowering and energizing for you, you know, use some of the programs, even boost them more and play. Okay, so just play, play with the tools, play with the reality, play with the world. You're going through this reality like a virtual game. It's a game of strategy for your higher consciousness. Your personality is executing just like you are controlling a video game character and that character is you. The controller outside of the game is your higher consciousness. If you can notice it, then you can um, understand that you always have help and there are always options to move through um, um, issues or challenges and um, focus on your path of maximum harmony. So let's keep uh, boosting our energies and especially let's keep uh, giving the entire planet and um, all the countries and uh, USA a huge boost. So as we are going through a lot of transition in the USA and all over the world, uh, when we can raise the vibration to a certain level, we will notice a lot of the uh, old structures will collapse and new and enhanced structures will replace them. So take care, have a magical rest of your day, and I will see you for our next journey.